It is decision day for NASA. Leaders of the space agency are meeting in Houston today to decide whether Boeing's Starliner will return to Earth with or without its two astronauts. The spacecraft experienced problems with its propulsion system on its test flight to the International Space Station in June. Mark Strassman is at the Johnson Space Center. Mark. Hey, Jeff, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, for NASA, this moment's a big one, the most consequential safety decision for the agency in years. Two NASA astronauts need a ride back home, and the issue is safety worries with one of the two options. Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. NASA and Boeing have spent months analyzing problems Starliner experienced during its flight to the International Space Station, helium leaks, and small maneuvering engines that failed on final approach. NASA's key concern, how that propulsion system will perform during critical phases of the flight home, like undocking and the braking burn on the return to Earth. The small engines need to fire hundreds of times to keep the spacecraft in the precise orientation for safe re-entry and on-target touchdown. I'm very confident we have a, a, a good vehicle to bring the crew back with. All along, Boeing has remained confident and considers Starliner's issues manageable. But within NASA, there has been disagreement over the risk to its two astronauts, Bush Wilmore and Sonny Williams. I would say that it would be terribly unusual not to have a debate. Wayne Hale is a former NASA flight director. He also served as the space shuttle program manager after the Columbia disaster. Columbia, Houston, com check. Seven astronauts were killed during re-entry 21 years ago. A foam strike during launch had damaged Columbia's wing. NASA was faulted then for flawed decision making and minimizing concerns over safety and risk. It instills a sense of we are not going to make that mistake again. And I, I got to tell you, there are many sleepless nights over some of these decisions. Um, but you try to make the very best decision to move the program forward with an adequate amount of safety. That could mean turning to Boeing's competitor, SpaceX, to bring the two astronauts home. The next SpaceX mission to the ISS, set for next month, could launch with a crew of two instead of four, leaving two empty seats for Wilmore and Williams to return next February. We asked NASA astronaut Nick Haig about the possibility of giving up his seat on that mission. Ultimately, those are my colleagues up there, and there's nothing I want to see more than for them to come home safely. Even if it means that your next trip to space gets delayed? Absolutely. If NASA goes with the SpaceX option, it could be humbling, even humiliating for Boeing and call into question the future of its Starliner program.